So I think the idea of like a workshop based class, hands on class, like that's what's becoming trendy in education, at least at MIT right now, is like bringing it back to mind and hand. Um, they won't work if students don't bring anything to workshop or like have anything ready. Right. So that's why the first, you know, two, three days of class were very, very information intense to bring them up to the point where they had a script that they could actually read aloud at the table read. Um, or that they would have a scene they could storyboard. Mm -hmm. um, I don't how, how how was it leading the workshops? Because I kind of let you guys take over for those. Yeah, I mean, I think I I it was great. I mean, I think um, we couldn't have done what we did if they hadn't come to the class with a portion of a script that they could storyboard mm -hmm. or, or do some sort of storyboard work on. I think maybe in, in the future, you might think about having, well, I don't know, having have, setting it up so that there's instruction about, say, storyboarding and, mm -hmm. and examples and, and kind of models, then have them do that and then have them return for, mm -hmm. for the critique, yeah. as opposed to trying to compress all of that into one yeah. class. So, but again, that's, that requires more time, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, my my only workshop workshops are great because it means that you rely a lot more on stuff that you sort of just know and can talk off the cuff about and don't have to prepare long yeah, lectures, yeah. which is fantastic. Right. <laughs> um, but that requires that you actually are just natively an expert in that. But the nice thing about that is that you can reduce the time that you spend speaking and increase the time that they spend working and, and speaking. Um, and I think the earlier that you get the students talking and doing th things in a workshop, the quickly, the more quickly they, they like realize that it's not a lecture and that they're not just going to sit there and absorb, that they have to actually do something. Mm -hmm. um, so you had like people reading their scripts from the beginning of your mm -hmm. workshop. There was no easing into it. It was pretty much just like, all right, this is the script that so-and-so submitted last night. Okay, come up and read it for yeah, us. Yeah. 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 Uh, and and then like they get over their nerves and they just do it and 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 then and then you you roll into it. I mean the other hard the hard thing about doing that is giving feedback in a workshop is tough because you have to. I mean you can't just be like great job and you know go sit down. That was great that you did it, but we're not going to give you any like constructive criticism. You have to like you know you've got to you've got to say like okay here's what I do differently, um, but you have to do it in such a way that it's not ego destroying. <laughs> um, uh, and that applies for any of the yeah, any, yeah. any of the stuff, you know. So um, it's I mean it's hard to do, especially if you're hosting, because they're you're sent you're commenting on their tone of voice, their you know delivery style, like their the, existence. Way, the way they talk, you know, the way <laughs> they yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So it's a tricky thing to like get uh, to to you sort of err on the side of being a little bit softer uh, than you probably than you probably need to. It's also. Sorry, sorry oh, no, but no, no, I, I was just going to say it's also interesting to get them, I think it, just from my, you know, basic pedagogical experience, because I did teach creative writing for a while, you know, it's nice to get them, uh, to get students, as you said, talking, doing peer work, where they're critiquing each other. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there isn't just this authority figure that has all the answers. There's also this innate sense that we all have and students have of what's working and what's not because mm -hmm. they're audience members too and they have that audience sensibility. Yeah. Um, Actually yeah. a really important thing was to establish that the medium in which we were working had no established best practices and that was something mm -hmm. that I tried to emphasize a lot and say, you know, I have very strong opinions on what I think is good hosting and what isn't. But at the end of the day, you do what you want as long as you can justify it to me. You know, like you can take or leave my advice on how I think you should edit this section. But if you want to stick with what you have and you're able to write it out well, wide. You're get an F. <laughs> <laughs> but an A for effort. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, like that's fine. Yeah. As long as I see that they're like consciously processing their own personal taste. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, what was the thing you just said? I'm saying that you know it, it's you don't want to just be the only person yeah. critiquing, yeah. which is really important. It's and I really think. really important, and I think yeah, one of the things about that too is is 
trying to make the classroom, I guess, kind of a safe space yeah. where people yeah. can be really honest. And you know, it's like, you know what, someone is probably going to go at you and your work at some point, but you need to be okay with that. And yeah. you, if you feel that you need to be honest with somebody about their work, that's mm -hmm. okay too. As long as you're not doing it on yeah. some kind of you know uh, you know illegitimate grounds. Yeah. If you have if it's a legitimate critique, you should yeah. feel okay about saying it. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. I th I think too, um, there can it can sometimes be helpful to just kind of lay the ground rules of critique, like what's personal. I mean, sometimes it's not obvious to students, like what's what's a personal yeah, attack, exactly. what's what's constructive criticism of the work. Sometimes people need yeah, instruction they on peer review. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like you yeah. can't expect that people yeah. know the rules. Uh, you know. Luckily, yeah. ja just having Jamie at every single class was really helpful. And I, I mean, it's hard, like in an ideal world, every class would have a staff of like five people who are all experts on different facets of the industry and then a dedicated instructional designer <laughs> facilitating group discussions right. every day. Yeah, two instructors per, per, right. uh, per student. Let's recommend that. Right. But you yeah, know what, yeah. like that's what it takes. It really does. Because if yeah. Jamie wasn't there, like I don't know how to facilitate classroom discussion. <laughs> uh, or really, you know, she would be able to interject and sort of coach these things sublimity, subliminally without having to establish like, guys, these are the classroom rules and like no picking on people, you know, like it was just all done very organically. And and, yeah. and that's actually very hard. I mean, I mean it, this is such a cop out answer to be like, it's important to foster a, a good classroom space, go do it, you know, but I, I don't really know how to give actionable items to people who are trying to do this yeah. in their schools. I think, um, one thing I tried to do was, and this was off of Jamie's suggestion, was to do every single assignment that I assigned to the students. So mm -hmm. on day one, when they had to record a selfie pitch, I did it and I was like, this is not perfect. And the next day I pointed out things that I didn't like about it or things that um, could have been better about my own work. So I think having uh, something physical to be able to critique, to sort of show people how to critique it you know it's not even just show people what's wrong but show people the act of critiquing right, um, right. is really important because yeah. if you don't have the physical examples i mean it's just like saying like lighting has to be done well yeah. <laughs> you know but like if you don't show them an example of of, of a well-lit scene they're, they're not going to be able to to do them yeah themselves. the the things you get from from students who aren't used to giving that kind of crit critique tend to be either, oh, it was good, mm -hmm. or I didn't like it. Yeah, right. And neither one of it is particularly helpful. Yeah, yeah or, or in creative yeah. writing class, people, students would be all like, this is really deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then like to be able to be there as an instructor and say, okay, why do you think it? it yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. why? Why is it, why is it yeah. good? Why is it deep? Yeah. Why didn't yeah. you like it? Yeah. Like yeah. the yeah. questions that drive them to, to give a, a more tangible answer. Yeah, right. I mean, that's really important in the live discussion. Like, yeah, it, and it's important, I think, to have it in real time, which is why I don't know how you can scale this experience up. Like, if you offer this yeah. as an online class, for instance, like, I guess you could have forums where students critique each other. But again, like, without the guidance of, you know, someone who's practiced it, that mm -hmm. limits you. And then, you know, someone who responds like, why do you think, you know, this was deep? Like. The next day, you sort of lose that momentum. I mean, the, the the really great thing is when 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 this sort of stuff happens on set, like when we were shooting the episode about the exploding wire, mm -hmm. and our student host got to see you, me, and the director of photography get into a fight about why we thought the framing was wrong. <laughs> and I mean, the, the, it was literally like, "What do you think of this framing? I hate it. Why? Because it looks like an episode of Home Improvement, like an actual episode of Home Improvement, or the like." show that they were parodying, parodying in home improvement. No, the crappy version. Okay, well, let's figure out how to fix it. You know, like that's the kind of discussion that happens on set. Yeah, and that and is so much more helpful for yeah. someone to see than sometimes people struggle with framing. Yeah. Here are some tips. Yeah. Yeah. Try to, you know, put the people in, in this framing. It, it might be more engaging, right? Like that's sort of how media things are presented right now. But to see like George and me fight is one way more entertaining sure <laughs> but two sure like I, I think time. like she probably took a lot more out of that than than watching like a lecture series oh, yeah. Yeah.